What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Here we go. 12 gauge, bird shot, home defense. The turkey's going to have an opinion today. We're going to put this to rest, hopefully, for the most part. Now this is just your average bulk pack. This actually came out of a 100 round pack, so the four boxes stack. This is the cheapest stuff you can buy. This is the heavy lead load. It's basically called Dove Target Practice Loads. So number eight bird shot. A lot of people want to argue if this can be used for home defense or not. Now there's a bunch of reasons why you might or might not want to use a shotgun or bird shot or a long gun in general for home defense depending on your situation. However, the argument is always, is this lethal? Will this stop a threat? And personally, I think it's ridiculous to think that this is not going to stop a threat. But you know what? I'm, not, I'm just going to put my personal preferences or ideas aside and we're going to actually put this to real testing, not just a bunch of keyboard warrior type of stuff. We're going to use three different guns today. One of them is going to have a modified choke, one of them is going to have a full choke, and one of them is going to have an open cylinder choke. So we're going to have three different patterns. We're going to show you those patterns from 20 feet away, which is probably an average home defense distance, I would say, on these targets, which are pretty representative size-wise of a home invasion type of threat. And then we're going straight to the ballistics gel, and we're going to go through clothing so that we can not have that argument attached to it either. We're going to have one layer of denim, one layer of fluorescent hoodie, like your average landscaper type of hoodie that I wear all the time, and then one layer of t-shirt. So that's pretty sufficient for clothing, I would say, for your average intruder, maybe. And this is a 20 inch shooter's block. It's a little bit longer than the 16 inch FBI blocks that you usually see. Let's just real quick, no BS this test. All right, we are 20 feet off that target. We have the Mossberg 590, totally open choke. This is a home defense shotgun all the way. So I'm gonna aim center of chest because that's gonna give us our best pattern show. Let's see what happens. Ouch, let's take a look. So what you see here is the wad. That's just the plastic cup that holds all the shot, especially bird shot type of things. But here's the pattern on the open choke. I mean, it actually, other than these two pellets, for the most part, unless we miss something out here, it stayed on the target, including up to about this level in the face. We started eating them here in the throat. This is a bad area of the throat. And all this, as we know, is a bad area. This is, we got, a whole bunch of stuff in here we don't want to hit. And that's a very nice pattern. That's a very well dispersed pattern. Let's see what a modified choke does. That's going to take it down a little bit. All right, this is the one we call the green monster. This one is the garden shotgun, but it's always loaded with one of these for the garden. So if you need to grab it in a pinch, here's what a modified choke might do. Now, in theory, this is going to choke it down, but every manufacturer is a little bit different. These are old H&Rs. These are fixed chokes. These are not interchangeable. The gun that we just used also had a fixed choke. You can't insert new chokes into it. It's always stuck open. This one's always stuck modified. Let's take a look at that. Again, there's the wadding right there in the center. It generally wouldn't be that powerful. It's very light plastic. I don't think it would actually penetrate hard target. They put dents in things, but they don't exactly penetrate. But as you can see, the pattern brought itself down to basically, I don't see any flyers in here. They're all right there, except for these couple within those rings. That's pretty good. That's condensing the force. That's condensing the shock trauma right there. The foot pounds of energy, whatever you want to call it, stopping power. That's starting to bring it down into more of a fist instead of kind of a smack. That's an open wave. We're getting more punch. Now take the condensed pattern that we have here and aim up here. And we're going to have a real problem on either one of these shots we just took. We're going to have a real problem. Just think about that. We're going to get into gel, but just think about that for now. Let's go to the full choke and see how tight we get down now. Here we have a full choke. And again, it's a fixed choke. The good thing about a lot of shotguns, though, is you can interchange a choke. So you can pattern your gun and start interchanging the chokes. And you can find one that works best for you and your situation and your distance for the longest shot you might possibly have to take in your home. Let's see what this full choke does. That's a whooper of a pattern. I will note that when you do have a full choke on a gun like this, it does significantly increase recoil. The modified or the open chokes on these single shots is not that bad. This full choke is surprisingly tough, even with birdshot, but let's look at this pattern. 
So this thing right here, this cheap, cheap, cheap little round just delivered this punch right here. Like I said, another knock to the shoulder, but a knock to the target. So this is eating away at the target because it's plywood, but you can see the density of that pattern. We're talking the same amount of shot that we saw in those other two shots. The one that was all the way out here, the one that was in here. Now all that lead is condensed right to here. Again, imagine that smacking in here or here or whatever. I mean, <laughs> I'll share something with you that I heard that I just love this saying. Rifles and pistols put holes in people. Shotguns remove chunks from people. Just remember that one too. All right, we're 20 feet off that block. Open cylinder. Let's see what happens to this. Looks like it moved the block a little bit. Let's see how deep we got. All right, remember I said that wad would typically not go through much? There you go. It doesn't even go through the clothing. It's just light plastic, but pellets did go through the clothing. They took a lot of clothing with them and they streaked in here. The farthest pellet that I see is right here. So according to the absolutely annihilated dirty tape, that pellet is seven and a half inches in there. There's another one right behind it. Most of them made it here to about this point, and that is going to be about the four inch mark. Most of them landed in the two to five inch mark, I would say. I don't know how well you can see it from that angle, but from the top, you can definitely see it. And on the other side, you can see it. So all the way around. Now those would all be in somebody to one depth or another. Is that enough to be lethal? Depends on where you hit. So even an animal, this stuff does incredible damage to animals you wouldn't think it would do. Just these couple little pellets can take a bird out of flight or stop a rabbit in its tracks. If you dump this kind of energy into somebody, it's probably gonna give them a second thought, if not absolutely hurt them. Now this to the face, here's what I've always said about this. When you have an open choke like this, more pellets, you know, that we didn't see here have missed this block. That's a big pattern like we saw in the paper. Anything in the face like this, you can't take this to your eyes and your teeth and your nostrils, your eye orbits, things like that, scraping your temples, going through your jugular veins. You can't take that kind of stuff. That's not, you're not going to be able to fight through that. So that's why I say this is some no BS testing. So let's continue. Let's choke this, let's shrink this choke down a little bit and let's see what happens after that on this other side of the block. All right, again, number eight. Now we're going to go through the modified choke. <laughs> look at that. Let's take a look. All right, I had to give the gel a bath. So hopefully I reoriented this right. We think we've confirmed that this is the right side. The deepest penetration I see on this one is six and a half. Now I did aim just a little bit high on this one. I skimmed the top of it just a hair. Just more pellets, more punch. You saw it pick the block up and throw it off the table that time. That's bringing down that lead shot. It's more weight impacting the target. Again, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna do some damage. And that went through clothing. Full choke time. This should be interesting. Good old number eight. Full choke. Thank you, Block, for your service. Let's take a look at that. All right, another gel block bath. And now this time, the longest distance I see here of penetration is at 10 inches. It's right here, 10 inches on the tape. I'm sure you can see pretty dense shot pattern there, that coning down right there of the full choke. You can see it pretty good. And there, can't really see it from the bottom. What's interesting is the density of the fabric trying to get taken into it. It's definitely 
been driven in there. It pulls it in there with it. Now let's just be honest. I mean, I know this is argued over and over and over again, but this will not feel good. So here's another good example. This was the open choke and the modified choke both going through this fabric. And then here was the full choke and you can see how it tears a hole right through the center. That's the density of the shot pattern. We don't have that on this fabric. Now you've noticed I've turned this block around. Check this out. All right, number eight again. I know what you guys want to see. I can read your minds. What is it that you guys want to see? You guys want to see a point blank shot. Let's do it. Guys ready? So another bath for the gel. Take a look at this hole. Basically at this distance, this is just gonna act like a slug. I misspoke when I said point blank shot. What I meant was contact shot. Point blank is a whole nother video. But look at this. This basically acts like a shotgun version of the civil defense. I mean, this is like an extreme explosion here followed by another stiff chunk of lead probably encapsulated by the wad. But basically, great penetration after this starburst effect. Let's measure it. The biggest part of the starburst effect stops at about five inches. However, the rest of this mass goes to about nine inches. Pretty devastating. You saw it rock the block right off the table. And you can't see anything from the bottom. However, you can see this ginormous hole. So there you go. You guys probably know my opinion by now. However, there's the information for you guys to make an opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think. But what I say personally is that's a deterrent. It's better than nothing. Is it extremely lethal? That depends on a lot of factors. Would it be my first choice? Probably not. But will it do in a pinch? Absolutely. So I hope you found this information helpful. I hope you enjoyed this birdshot home defense video. Hope you like these kind of videos. And until we see you next time at the next video, stay safe, have fun, and keep shooting.